Right, welcome to a new video. We're back on a bank. Mm. What a cracking fish. Got a fin up as well. And I am down in the depths of Wiltshire, just outside of Warminster at the very popular Shearwater Reservoir. I've come down for a bit of mixed fishing really, concentrating on hopefully putting a decent roach on the bank. There's a reasonable head of them in here up to sort of two pound mark. So hopefully we get amongst them and also uh, probably have a few bream, maybe a carp along the way. So a nice sort of relaxed day, just doing some general fishing on the light rods, um, fishing with the feeders and that sort of stuff. So um, I was up at the Mecca, that is linear, yesterday. Um, did 24 hours in uh, pursuit of a monster roach. Unfortunately, um, I had one bite and lost it, whatever that ended up being, I don't know. So that's a bit unfortunate. So um. I wasn't expecting to be out today. I was um, I actually worked last night. Did I was supposed to be doing a night shift. Night shift got cut short, and um, I ended up being able to get out today. I was supposed to be working tonight, but that got cancelled. So I've actually come out on a, a day I wasn't expecting to be out on, which is nice. So anyway, let's um, put the camera down and get the rods out and uh, see if we can get a few fish on the bank. So the rods are fishing, as you can see, I've got them all out and I've actually had a fish already. I've had a bream of about three pounds, so nice to be off the mark. And like I said um, in the intro, I'm literally just down for a nice day's fishing, see what I can catch. Hopefully I can get amongst some of the roach. That is my main goal. Um, there's, some, there's some nice fish over the two pound mark in here, so I'm hoping I can possibly get one of those. But whether the bream turn up or the carp turn up, I'm not too bothered. I'm using pretty light gear, so eight pound main line, um, sort of six pound hook length, so nice and light. So if we do hook a carp, it's gonna be good fun playing one out. And all I'm doing is fishing 15 wraps. I know this leak reasonably well. I fished it a lot when I was younger. So I'm fishing about 15 wraps, which is about a comfortable distance for most anglers that fish on here. So that kind of distance sees quite a bit of bait which is essentially where a lot of the bream roach and that tend to hold because they used to get fed there. It's a good depth as well of, of water. And all I'm doing is basically spotting out um, a basic mix and then fishing some, at the moment I'm fishing some maggot feeders, but I chop and change between maggot feeder, flatbed feeder, possibly a cage feeder with like some chop worm, that sort of thing. And I'm gonna just sort of chop and change tactics and just see what we can get really. Wait for this car. Two cars. That's a downside of fishing on this bank. You've got all the cars that go past you. So let's have a little look at the bait then. So this is what I'm spotting out. It is essentially a scaled down sort of carp mix. So I've got some hemp, some mini pellets, quite a lot of ground bait. That's probably make, making up the bulk of the mix. Some eight mil boilies and um, some sweet corn. So really, really simple mix. And um, it's to try and imitate what the carp anglers on here tend to use. Um, when guys are spotting out, they do tend to use like a little bit of a mix of stuff. So um, I'm trying to imitate that, but scaling it down. So um, if any roach gnat come into the swim, they can actually get it down their necks and hopefully hold them in the area. So I've got a chance of catching them. And then I've also got the faithful maggots. I've got a quite a lot of um, white maggots with me which are left over from um, a session up linear fishing for the roach so I've got those and I'm putting them into your block in feeder um, so I'm just fishing block in feeder and that's what I'm casting over the top of the mix I've also got in here just some ground bait and some pellet which I've wetted down with a bit of lake water so it squeezes together a little bit 
and I can use that then on a flatbed feeder if I want to change over and I've also been packing a little bit of it into the maggot feeder just to make it a little bit heavier so I can cast out to the spot and it actually makes it sink quicker. So the problem on here is it's quite a deep lake, quite a deep reservoir and um, you need to be able to get the feeder down to the bottom before all the bait gets out of it. So I put a little bit of the ground bait mix into the feeder just to give it a little bit of weight and that way it sinks even quicker. So that's, um, that's the baiting tactics and everything. Very, very simple. Like I said, I've had one fish already but hopefully if I can keep the bait going in with the spod and keep topping it up with the mix, hopefully some fish will move in and we can have a few. So anyway, we'll see how it goes and hopefully we'll get a few fish for the cameras. Right, there you go, there's fish number two, um, little bream, slip her back. <laughs> Here we go then, fish, uh, fish number three. Oh, we've got another customer. So bite number four, and there's going to be another bream. And not had a roach yet. It's kind of what I'm really wanting to be honest, but it is nice getting a few bites. Just gonna to have to wade out because um, it's really shallow along here, so you have to wade out to land. I need to just get my arm around that one. A bit bigger.
two rods on the rest, but actually only one of them is currently fishing. One of them is just led down there, and the other one is just hanging on the rod uh, on the ring. And the reason for that is I've been getting so many fish that um, I decided just for a bit I'm going to fish one rod and um, have a have a brew and have a bit of food because I'm feeling pretty hungry. So I've had about 15 or 16 bream at least I think. It might even be more. I've lost count. Um, by the time I got to 10 I started to lose count at home when I was catching. Uh, the rods were going off so much. I haven't had a I haven't had a roach yet, which is a little bit frustrating, but I'm hoping as the light starts to fade this evening, possibly a shoulder roach might move in and might be able to pick one of them off, which would be nice. There's some definitely some, some good ones in there. I know some of the carp anglers catch them uh, over two pound, and to them, they're not interested and they just slip them back, but I'm hoping that I can actually pick one off. But um, anyway, I'm gonna sort some food out, have a brew, and um, we'll get back on the fishing. Well, that had a spot. That was lush. Go on. We're in again. One there, one on there. Well, that's about the average size from today. Of an absolute loads. I don't know how many exactly, but definitely over 25 fish now. It's been wicked fun. Unfortunately, the roach haven't shown up. The light is starting to go. So um, I'm a little bit doubtful if I'm gonna actually have any roach now, but I thought they might have turned up and a shoal could have moved in on the bait, but unfortunately it's not happened. So it's been nice having a few bream now. It's been a really enjoyable day. I've not been taking it too seriously. Um, I brought the rods in for about half an hour, had some food, had a brew, just chilled out a bit. And um, I even fished one rod for a bit just to keep the bites down to a, a bit of a minimum because it was getting a bit stupid at one point. So. Anyway, let's get this one back. We've still got a bit of time. I'm sure there's a few more to be had. Left under and the middle one are going. <laughs> Better go and sort them out. Thought it was going to be a good roach, actually, to be honest, but it's a, I think it's probably a hybrid, to be fair. Looks like a bit of a hybrid bream. Just slip that one back. And there's the second one. A little bit more substantial than the other one. Little bream. Oh, that rod might be about to go. So yeah, happy days. Not a monster, but what a cracking fish. Got her fin up as well. Well happy with that. Hopefully there's another one before I go. I haven't really got long left, but 
I thought they might switch on when it got dark. So that's pretty much the end of the session now. I have got two rods fishing still, but I'm literally going to bring them in once I've done this video. Most of the kit is now in the van. It was nice to finally have a roach, although it wasn't the big one that I was after, but it was still a nice fish. I've had loads of bream today. I can't even remember. I'm not even sure I'm going to have had. I'd say 25 to 30, something like that maybe. It's um, been a really good day. I know it's not everyone's cup of tea, but I just love fishing. I love fishing for anything. And I think when you're fishing with the kit, um, balanced out to catch those sort of fish. Um, it's actually enjoyable, you know. They, they put up a reasonable bit of a fight. Obviously they don't go crazy, but they, they fight a lot more than they do on carp kit anyway, let's put it like that. Um, and it's nice just to get a lot of action, just for a day's fishing, nearly sort of one a chuck in a way. Um, it's been really sort of hectic at times. So yeah, I've really enjoyed it. So hopefully um, you've liked the video. If you're new to the channel, remember to subscribe. You can check out our Instagram at The Fishing Bloggers and follow us on Facebook, The Fishing Bloggers TV. Um, I'm going to pack everything away now, bring the rods in and get on the road. So thanks for watching. And if you're getting out, be lucky. There's a car coming to ruin my audio. I'll see you again soon. Cheers for that. Right, let's bring those rods in.